Welcome to the Rideshare Dojo. If you're an Uber or Lyft driver or anyone in the gig economy, this is the place for you. With tips and techniques, interviews with passengers and industry leaders, entertainment, inspiration, motivation. Here, with over 23,000 rides, is your host, Jay Crater. Let's enter the dojo. Hey, everybody. Uber drivers, Lyft drivers, Instacart drivers, Postmates, Ease, Zoom drivers, DoorDash, Via, Amazon Prime, Amazon Prime Now, Uber Eats, Grubhub, all you drivers and passengers and all of us who are part of this big, beautiful gig economy, welcome. It is so great to have you here for today's exciting episode. My name is Jay Crater. Let's enter the dojo. All right, Dojo Nation, thanks for entering the dojo today. I've got a special guest, a uh, three-timer now. <laughs> it's sort of like uh, on Saturday Night Live where you've got the repeat guests coming on. Um, I'll have to give you a, a, a ring or something, uh, a coat or something when you get to five. <laughs> right. So um, my guest, uh, uh, this, this episode is Nathan Dalton. So if you've uh, been a fan of the Rideshare Guy and uh, uh, the Rideshare Dojo, you've seen uh, articles and interviews and videos about this guy. And he just keeps charging forward, and he's impressive. And um, a lot of people ask us questions about, you know, how do I get in touch with this guy and what's he up to? So we're we're bringing him on, and I promise you at the end of this uh, podcast, uh, we'll tell you exactly how you can reach out to Nathan if this sounds like something you might want to do. So Nathan, thank you for entering the dojo. My pleasure, thanks for having me, Jay. Great, 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 great. So just a quick background. Um, <clears throat> I was asked by Harry, the rideshare guy, to uh, talk to this guy, Nathan, about an issue he was having as a rideshare driver. So Nathan was a driver for Uber and Lyft, and uh, he got a ticket at the San Francisco airport for having um, advertising on his car. And uh, in talking with Nathan about that, he mentioned that he was found this other great thing. And I didn't really listen much at, the, at that point. Then in another conversation, he said he made $1,000 in one day. And that perked up my ears. And uh, that was be becoming a mobile notary signing agent. So uh, we'll talk about that process. So if you are thinking about doing something other than rideshare driving, uh, but you like driving and you want to make a lot more money and, and you, you want to have, you know, kind of a really kind of specific plan to go for it. Um, you're going to hear all about that today. So, Nathan, can you can you share a little bit about your background? Like, you know, where did you come from? How, how, how did you come to rideshare driving? Yeah, it's an interesting journey. I'm actually born in the Midwest, St. Louis, uh, family moved to Memphis, eventually came out to California looking to get into the wine business. I actually have a degree, Bachelor of Science in Chemical Engineering, wow. wanted to get into the wine industry. And so I came out to California, of course, uh, came into Napa, uh, met a girl, married, started a family. I was working at a winery as an enologist, wine chemist, um, but really saw that there was a kind of a plateau there that unless I was trying to, you know, go you know, whole hog into the wine industry, become a winemaker, that my options were kind of limited. So I started looking at other other opportunities. I've always had kind of an entrepreneurial bent. Um, I was the kid in kindergarten who was selling, you know, pencils to other kids and trying to make a, you know, a penny off of every pencil I sold them. And so I've kind of had that entrepreneurial spirit. Um, started looking around. I dabbled in a few uh, little things such as a, a drone photography and some IT consulting. I'm pretty techie. And then in the midst of that, I found the rideshare industry. And that was perfect because in the midst of these other opportunities I was trying to pursue um, while maintaining a full-time job, like a lot of people do, um, I found that I could do rideshare on evenings and weekends and make that extra money. Yep. Well, fortuitously, I had a, a passenger one day who was going from you know a pretty short trip to, to SFO Airport that told me that he was a notary signing agent, and he thought that was something that I should look into as well. 
Hmm. Um, can make a lot of money. You know, if you're already out and about, he just, from our brief conversation, he said, I think I can tell that you'd be, you'd be great at that. So I said, sure, why not? So I looked into it, saw the income potentials that are there in this very legitimate real estate business in the financial sector of, you know, being the commissioned notary to sign real estate documents in front of, you know, be the witness to officially notarize these documents Got it. and jumped into it. And yep. so at you said I was driving for Lyft, doing this notary gig all along, and then um, that was back in 2000, beginning of 2018. Mm-hmm. I started this crazy journey. Uh, 2019, I netted over 125 thousand dollars. Wow! Yeah. So um, before we lose any any of uh, the listeners out there uh, who say, "Well, you know, the market's saturated because you know Nathan's been talking about this." Can you share some numbers? Because it's a pretty immense um, opportunity out there uh, with with uh, the, the, what you're doing. Yeah. Um, what What do you mean by numbers? What well, sense? yeah. There's like a huge volume of deals going down in the Bay Area oh, every single month. Goodness. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. So in the San Francisco Bay Area, there's estimated between seven thousand five hundred and ten thousand loan transactions happening every month and most of those need two signers you need somebody to sign the buyer and somebody to sign the seller and then you have refinancing with the way the rates are right now as everybody's probably seen the rates continue to be good um the refi market is booming yeah so that's upwards of twenty thousand signings per month happening in and around the san francisco bay area all right and let's say you're a smoking hot signing agent and you could do five a day Five days a week, that's like a hundred a month, right? So out of that twenty thousand, you know, one super strong agent could be doing a hundred. So there's huge opportunity there. Um, Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. There's no way this thing's getting saturated. Way, way more opportunity there than driving for Uber and Lyft. Um, so what? It, what it, is, especially because also Jay, that most notary signing agents do this part time. Mm-hmm. So most of them are looking for, you know, either first thing in the morning, last thing in the evening, on the weekends. So even if you are in a, an escrow company who is signing hundreds of files a month, you've got to constantly be looking for a notary who's available. Because mm-hmm. like if I'm doing my five today mm-hmm. and I'm completely booked, well, that means all those other opportunities are now going to somebody else. Right, right. And And what was interesting was the first year that you did it, you worked. It's you could work it into your rideshare driving. So rideshare driving could fill in the gaps. Um, so it's kind of this perfect mix uh, as you're getting started totally. until yep. until you get your volume up. Um, so yeah. So it's interesting. You said you've always had an entrepreneurial bent, um, uh, but with this um, uh, notary business, what inspired you? I mean, what what kept you going? I'm sure there were times where it was difficult, or you were working really hard. Um, what was kind of the, the vision for you uh, to, to do this? Yeah, so the, the thing that keeps me going is that, A, it's, I really enjoy it, first of all. And I find that it's, it's an incredibly value-added uh, service to everybody that I'm involved with. Everybody is super grateful. The, the companies that you're getting the signings from, the people you're helping sign – um, and then you're just you're a you're a crucial vital link. So there's a sense of weighty importantness to it that just kind of lends just that good feeling that you, you at the end of the day you've significantly helped out you know dozens of people's lives and that feels really good. Um, and so that just really gives a sense of purpose in this. But more than that, for me, it's the 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 flexibility of a schedule and a financial you know forecast that allows me to be with my family and to, to do the things that I want to do with my family on my own terms. Right. So on the days, you know, when my, you know, my kids are in school and I'm out there crushing it and I'm just going to do what I want to you know, go out there and get as many signs as I can, mm-hmm. you know, but there's other opportunities to where I can say, you know what, I'm turning everything off. I'm not doing that today. You know, we're going here, we're doing that. And, um, my family has a very flexible schedule with the way our children are in school. And so, you know, it allows me to be a very present, um, husband and father to my family yeah. while providing a very secure income for them. Um, and so I feel like that just really frees you in this to make as little or as much as you want, depending on your need. Yeah. Yeah. That's really a, it's a really good, um, opportunity. 
Um, so what can you tell drivers out there who have a dream? Um, uh, maybe they're listening to this and they think, you know, Oh, I don't know if I can do that. You know, they, they just feel sort of stuck behind the wheel. Um, what would you tell, tell drivers to, you know, get started? That it's just, um, it's, it's a, it's a multi-step process to, you know, to change where you are, you know, like you've got to overcome that inertia, like doing the same thing you've been doing is a relatively easy pass, but that's not going to take you more than likely to where your goals financially, personally are are so that you just have to take that first step and in this case you know you log on to the the national notary association website you should begin the process of becoming a commissioned notary in your state um, the process itself does have multiple steps but none of them are difficult they do take a fair amount of time because you are dealing with bureaucratic agencies uh, like the secretary of state whoever state you're in and so there are some time considerations there but none of this is difficult. And while there is a slight learning curve and, you know, getting the process down, I feel like compared to, you know, the cost benefit ratio compared to what it takes to how much benefit both financially and freedom of your, your life and your schedule, that this to me just blows my mind that there are people out there who are slaving away day in and day out, working hard out in the weather and the elements. And then they don't realize that there's something so simplistically easy to pick up master the basics and then just take off with it that could completely change their financial future yeah yeah and and on the timing <clears throat> let's get a little specific i i went through the process and <clears throat> i took um i had to take a, a one-day course which i was so i was able to contact the national notary association uh set set up a one-day training and then the test and that was set up about 10 days in advance. And then within four weeks, uh, they sent me the paperwork. So I was basically within six weeks, I was in a position where I could do um, uh, notary work. And then the next step would have been the next class to become a, to become a, a mobile a notary signing agent, uh, which probably would have taken maybe another month. So, you know, within two to three months, you, you can be actually out there, uh, doing doing the work. Now, another issue that some people are going to say was, well, you know, how do I find clients? And this is where it gets, you know, it's it's very similar to rideshare uh, driving in that you can drive around and you're getting pings with opportunities to go do the signings. Can you speak to that a little bit? Yeah, absolutely. Just like uh, any rideshare driver knows that, you know, they, they're online for Lyft and Uber and they get a ping request. Uh, there is a Lyft or Uber for notaries. It's called SnapDocs, uh, among others. There are, are multiple. There's another one called uh, signingorder.com. Um, and basically you register with these signing services. You upload your profile, your credentials, which is going to be what you've gotten from the Secretary of State. It says you're a commissioned notary. They got to know you're a real legit notary and then you put in your information and then they say hey okay jay we've got a signing today in san francisco at 12 o'clock it's a refi signing you know the fee is 75 to 100 dollars, depending on the the, you know, the signing uh, are you available yes or no and so you just you just get these pings all day long and so based on your schedule you say yes or no and that that element of time management is probably the hardest part once you get the, the, the process of doing the notarization and walking people through these loan papers, that's, that's the same every single time. The hardest part is managing you know, your schedule to the degree that can I accept this request or not. Mm -hmm. Much the same way if you get a ping at the end of the night, you're saying, do I want this or not? Can I fit one more order in or not? Mm -hmm. So if you've got basic time management skills, you're going to sign up for these signing services. They're going to send you ping, you know, signing requests. You're going to say yes or no. Um, and then based on all the people that say yes or no, they're going to, you know, assign you if they feel like you're the best agent for that signing. Yeah. And then once you get the order, you fulfill it. So, yeah, it really and, is very simple to get started. And then, <clears throat> excuse me. And then once you get started, the more signings you do, you kind of work your way up to pecking order so that you start to get even higher quality, um, better paying gigs. Yeah, absolutely. Just yeah. like in everything, you know, you've got to you've got to put in the put in your paces at the you know the beginning, the entry level. Um, plus, honestly, that's the best way to get experience is when, you know, there's a little less on the line. You know, the higher the more experience you get, the more 
you know, high level clients, they're going to be contacting you. The more, you know, I've done $12 million loans, mm -hmm. you know, and they don't want a, you know, fresh out of the great newbie handling that they're going to try to see somebody who's got some more experience under their belt, Sure. but you work there. And, you know, within, um, a six months to a year, depending on your volume, you know, you would definitely be at the, you know, at that level. Yeah. Yeah. As we've seen with our friend, Jeremy, um, Absolutely. Yeah, he's just <laughs> yeah. Uh, he's he's crushing it uh, right now. Okay, great. So um, so tell us about your business called Jellyfish Enterprises. So you you were a notary for uh, I think less than a year and cr crushing it, doing multiple signings a day, and you, as you said, you made over six figures. Um, so yeah, so then you started Jellyfish Enterprises, and uh, yeah, I'll just say, ask you tell tell us about that, so people can get excited about even working with you in the future. Absolutely. Um, so Jellyfish Enterprises, name of the LLC that I've wrapped all of my kind of entrepreneurial businesses under, and then when I got to the point um, about halfway through last year, so after I've been a notary. About a year and a half, I was getting so many requests for orders that I could not physically, humanly respond to, um, but I had great relationships. And this business, the success in this business is all relational because you're dealing with trust where you yes, – the more people trust you to handle their files correctly, on time, perfectly done, the more they're going to extend that trust to you and give you more and more business. Um, so once I had built a level of trust among these title and escrow officers who in Northern California, that's who I'm getting these orders from. In other states, it comes in different ways. Um, but for the most part, it's title and escrow. Then I started saying, hey, what how would you feel if I was able to basically start a signing service to create, you know, give you greater opportunities to get these signings fulfilled? And they said, absolutely. So I created a signing service of which there are hundreds. Many of them use platforms like SnapDocs or signing orders to get their orders fulfilled. Mm -hmm. um, and so I created Jellyfish Signings as a you know DBA doing business as under Jellyfish Enterprises. And uh, part of that was because every other combination of mobile notary, loan signing, perfect notary, coast to coast signings, signature signings, all these other names are already taken. Mm -hmm. um, I've had a love of Jellyfish my whole life. So when people ask me why Jellyfish? Say, I love them. They're adaptable creatures. They go with the flow. And that's kind of my motto is just be adapting and going with the flow. Right. So I created Jelly Signings and um, I have a network in the Bay Area of, I have a preferred list of about 15 to 20 notaries at this point. And then I am actually on the signing order platform, signingorder.com, which as a notary, you'd sign up through notaryresume.com. And that's the notary side of that platform. But then, so I have the signing service where I get orders on a daily basis from escrow officers saying, I need a notary in X at this type, date and time. And then I'm able to contact the notary, check their availability. And for me personally, I take a, a much more hands-on personal touch to it. Mm -hmm. um, I don't just randomly assign to notaries. Um, I like to have somewhat of a conversation with the notary first. So I'm going to reach out to them. I'm going to dialogue with them, find out their level of experience and how many signings they've done, You know, talk about any touchy, tricky issues that may come up. And I'm going to do this as more of like a mentorship relationship than just a you're a number in a database. You know, you check this box. I give you money. Right. Um, so I've used Jellyfish signings as a way to um, train and mentor notaries as well as fulfill these orders for the title and escrow companies. Uh, as a signing service. So that's yeah. what Jellyfish is all about. Yeah, I know um, I, I know you've been wor working a lot with Jeremy and also my uh, ex-wife uh, <laughs> caught wind of all this and she, uh, yeah, she did. Yeah, and she's, and she's doing great. She's, she is, she's doing awesome. Yeah, yeah, she's super smart and uh, she said the first one she got, she met with you and you went over it together with her and, you know, so she's, she really felt like uh, you, t you take it really seriously and, and, nothing's going to slip through the cracks. And as a result, she gets really good training and, uh, and you deliver a quality product. So, um, yeah. So I think the, the agents who end up working directly with you, um, are just going to get much better at their job as a result. So it, it seems like a win, win, uh, all around. <clears throat> That's great. Yeah. I definitely hope so. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. As we wrap up then, um, w so what does the future look like for you? Do you, um, you know, how, how big can you grow this thing? And yeah. Yeah. So I, in the same, like you said, in San Francisco Bay area, they're like of those 20,000 signings a month right now, jellyfish is probably doing, you know, less than a hundred 
of. Mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. Now, there are a number of other signing services and independent notaries who are handling those. Mm -hmm. So in one way or another, you know, those those signings have to get done. Now, some of those signings will happen in office. But again, notaries are constant. This is such a fluxing market, much like the rideshare industry. People come and go based on their life status, financial needs, you know, whatever they're doing. Mm -hmm. And so my goal would be able to... Um, to be able to run the jellyfish signings as a, you know, multi-million dollar signing service industry in the San Francisco Bay Area. Okay. Growing that because right now I'm handling it um, myself. I, I'm able to run it at this level. Um, I like to give it that personal touch. In the future, you know, I would like to grow my my team of jellyfish signings to the point where I would be able to have some uh, scheduling assistants mm -hmm. who would, who would uh, help manage these signings. Um, I would love to be able to do, uh, you know, be more, be more on the training and mentoring side yes. and then have somebody who's running the scheduling side of it um, for me as that. Mm -hmm. uh, because like I said, like with my family, my, you know, my kids are young. I have between five and 10 years old, mm -hmm. and four kids between five and 10. And, you know, they are the, the love and joy of my life. And so I want to, especially in these formative years, be as present as possible. And so in this sense, you know, I feel like if I can grow Jellyfish Shinings to a point where I'm able to, um, you know, run that as a business while, you know, being, you know, that present um, parent, there's going to be a day when they're going to be out of the house, you know, and I can, you know, have a different pace of life at that point. Yes. Um, but at this point, right now, I'm, I'm very thankful for this opportunity um, to have the flexible schedule, the, you know, the very open-ended, you know, limitless income, as it were, as just being able to take this business to the next level. Yeah. Yeah. What's well, remarkable, as you said, there's 20,000 and, and you're doing about 100. So it seems like there's huge opportunity. Um, huge. Yeah. It's, it's, it's absolutely at this point, like it's as fast as I can grow it. Right. And that's one thing that I've learned. I've seen other notaries start signing services and just try to go from like zero to a thousand signings a month, mm -hmm. you know, in their first month at that pace. And I've taken it slow. Like I officially launched back in, um, October of 2019, but have only gone as fast as we were able to grow and do it well. Mm -hmm. um, and that's one thing that I really want to stress with my innings is I'd rather do less well than just crush it out there um, and have, you know, mistakes left and right and notice who don't know what they're doing. And I don't want to put either of us in that position. You'd rather be a Mercedes Benz than a uh, Toyota Prius. <laughs> Absolutely. All day long. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, great. So um, if uh, people want to reach out to you, um, well, okay, so so they can reach out to you by, by email, right? Um, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So Admin at jellyfishsignings.com. So admin, so that's A-D-M-I-N, if you're out there writing this down, admin at jellyfishsignings.com. Um, and then uh, if you want to uh, explore becoming a notary, um, you can just go to the website for the National Notary Association. You can just Google that, National Notary Association. And they really have everything there that you need to, to get started. Um, and, and Jay, your, your podcast previously, as well as the article you wrote on the Rideshare Guy, like just break it down so well that anybody who's seriously looking at that, you know, if they if they're serious, they can look those up as well and just get so much in one complete package in one sitting because um, you've, you've covered this so well in the past. Yeah. Yeah. So there's an article I wrote. So if you just uh, Google like Rideshare Guy, Jay Crater, Nathan Dalton, D-A-U-L-T-O-N. Um, those that you'll see, uh, an article, uh, which, which does break it down for you quite well. And then you can be off and running. And again, it's not like you, uh, if for my, for drivers out there, it's not like you have to stop driving and then do something else. You, you can merge these two things together of rideshare driving and getting this other thing going, not lose any revenue, and then slowly pick up more revenue as you start doing signings. And then you start you know, working with Nathan and he's doing some mentoring and training with you. And before you know it, um, you're in a situation like Jeremy. I mean, for sh Jeremy, he only did it for like a month and he was doing quite a few signings. It was remarkable how quickly he got up to a hundred. He's, I don't know where he's at now, but, um, 
Yeah, he's upwards of two hundred. Yeah, so. yeah. He he just uh, he's just flying flying through the signings and and to, and talking to him now, it's like he doesn't even think about it. You know, he's just out doing the signings. So he's definitely got to 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 master the process quickly. And um, yeah, so it's it's a very uh, I guess what I want to say is if this appeals to you, it's a very doable uh, plan B, uh, which in Nathan's case became his plan A um, within a year. Within a year. Yeah. yeah great. Absolutely. All right. Great. Um, any last things you want to share, Nathan, before we call it a, call it a quit? Um, I would say that just, you know, as, as, as googly eyed as the numbers are and the potential out there that don't think that this has to be for everybody. I mean, this works very well with my skill set, my, my lifestyle, my flexibility, but find something out there that you can be passionate about. And no matter what it is, you're going to have so much more success at that than this. So if you try, you know, if you're driving and you're looking for a plan B and you think maybe this is it, maybe the notary signing agent, that's for me. And you try and it doesn't work. Don't get discouraged because you can find another plan B that will work for you. And even if it's not as lucrative to the bank, if you can find something that truly makes you happy in a successful financial way for you, that's going to be hands down better than any other option. So give it a shot. Contact me. We'll give it a go. And if it doesn't work, there's something else out there for you. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, I'm a perfect example of this because I, uh, I listened to you and I listened to Jeremy and we used to have lunch together. Um, and we'll, we'll start doing that again next month. Um, and you know, I went through the process and I got all my, got it, everything there. And I, I just got to the place where, you know, my, my vision, my plan B was to, to be able to travel with my work. And this is not something that I can take on the road with me. So I stopped and, and, and kept pursuing my other things that, that I'm doing now, you know, on the road while, while um, working while I'm on the road. So, yeah, so you're right. So, you know, it, it's good to get really clear on kind of what you want uh, before you jump into something. Uh, but I think, I, I think for a large chunk of drivers out there, this is super attractive and, um, and totally doable. And, um, yeah. you know, <clears throat> and we've just seen, we've seen several examples of that already, uh, just since you and I started talking about this. Yeah, no, it is. And, it's, yeah. and, and, and I will say this as well too, just as one for people who may be not in the San Francisco Bay area that, you know, as in the real estate motto, location, 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 um, that there are certain areas around the United States, depending on where you're listening to this at, that where the, the real estate market is, a hotter market so that therefore the notary signing agent market is a hotter market. So if you're in like the middle of nowhere, kind of Oklahoma, you know, you may not have this kind of success, right. but it is still doable. <clears throat> if you want to you know, pursue it as a plan B, mm -hmm. there are homeowners, they need to refinance. Somebody has got to be signing those loans. That might as well be you. So it's typically where there's, you know, large cities where there's a lot of people, a lot of homes that that's, that's probably one one way to look at it, yeah. So like L.A. would, would be, is a good market, I would assume. New York is a good Absolutely. market. Chicago is a good market. Um, yeah, and and like Jeremy, it's you know sometimes it makes sense to move. You know if you can, you know relocate, go go where the action is. Um, it's like with the driving. I started the driving. I moved from Sacramento down to San Francisco because it was such a good market. Um, yep. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Good. 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 All right, Nathan. Great. So again, if you're interested admin at jellyfishsignings.com. And to get started as a notary, go to the National Notary Association website. And if you want a kind of a step-by-step -step article, just Google uh, Rideshare Guy, J Crater, Nathan Dalton, and that article should come up. All right, great. Nathan, thank you so much. It's great catching up with you. We'll have lunch. Pleasure as always. Man. We'll have lunch soon. And uh, thanks for entering the dojo. My pleasure. Thank you. Loved this episode of the Rideshare Dojo podcast? Head over to iTunes to subscribe, rate, and leave a review. It really helps, and it's very much appreciated. Be sure to visit RideshareDojo.com to join the conversation, access the show notes, and discover our fantastic bonus content. Thanks for listening, and be safe out there.